Before YouTube started making people viral, there were reality competitions which were a ticket to Hollywood for common people. In the early 2000s, shows like American Idol and The X Factor were specifically made to give talented musicians a chance to showcase their talent in front of the whole world. And we have witnessed the format worked wonders for talents like Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood and Adam Lambert. But in American Idol season 4, one young contestant named Mario Vasquez did something weird which shocked everyone. He decided to quit the show when he got selected as one of the top 12 contestants. Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Have you ever wondered why Mario Vasquez left American Idol when everyone from the audience were calling him a guaranteed winner? Fret not today, we will discuss what happened to Mario Vasquez. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment and share. Also, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss any updates. Mario's American Idol Journey Mario Adrian Vasquez was born on June 15, 1977 in New York City. In 2005, Mario auditioned to be the next American Idol of season 4 with Michael Jackson's song Whatever Happens. His audition went pretty great. Paula Abdul was left speechless. Her only comment was, wow, when she gave her remarks. Simon, who is the toughest judge for many, commented Mario is one of the best singers they've had in the competition. After such a successful audition, it was no wonder he even passed Hollywood rounds with flying colours. For his last performance on American Idol, he chose a soft ballad number which was drastically different from his previous performances. He decided to sing How Can You Mend a Broken Heart by Bee Gees. About that performance, he said because he's a Gemini who is famous for their dual personalities, this time he wanted to show the people his other side. Earlier, his performances were more upbeat, fun and energetic, this time he chose to stay on the mellow side. Mario's performance was again praised by the judges, Randy Jackson even told him he's seeing him as one of the top two finalists. Even Paula and Simon agreed with him, telling him he has a certain charm that makes him instantly likeable. One comment which was always consistent with all of Mario's performances is he has the best knowledge about his voice and his abilities. Simon even told him after his last performance that he knows his potential the best so much that he doesn't even need the judges' guidance. This was a big statement, and although Mario never said it, this statement might have given him the push which was needed to make a huge decision. After giving such a spectacular performance and almost being guaranteed as a finalist, he decided to quit the show. Reason to quit the show. Mario's decision came as a shock to everyone. He was undoubtedly the most promising contestant of his season. Even the audience went gaga over his good looks and smooth voice. To this day, many people believe he would have been the winner of the show instead of Carrie Underwood had he not quit. After quitting the show, he went on live with Regis and Kelly and talked about his decision in a more candid way. Earlier, Mario has always maintained he left the show due to some personal reasons, never shedding light on what the specific reason was. On the talk show, he said he appreciates all the love and support, but he took his decision after a lot of thinking. Many people speculated he got into a feud with the producers or some crew member, but he instantly squashed all those rumours, saying, American Idol was only positive. They were only wonderful to me from the beginning through the middle to the end. It had nothing to do with the contract or anything at all. I just needed to take care of some things in my life that needed to be focused on. When Reggie and Kelly insisted why did he quit, though when everyone was rooting for him, Mario explained by an analogy of how someone falls in love but then with no logical explanation falls out of it. He said the same thing happened with him, he just wasn't feeling it anymore. He acknowledged the sentiments of his fans and showed immense gratitude but couldn't pin it down to one specific reason why he didn't continue his journey. I know I disappointed many fans but it's all for the best, it really is and I hope they know and understand and respect my privacy with that as well. He said, it was a very, very hard decision, just thinking about everyone in the competition, who are my friends first before competitors. It was a lot to think about but my intuition told me I need to focus on personal things in my life. That meant I couldn't continue in the competition. Record deal. While he kept the same sentence about personal issues being the reason for him quitting the show, in 2006, Mario gave a little more concrete answer. When he left the show, some speculations started going around. One was that he wanted to work on his album. Other was that he got cocky and thought he was already better than everyone else. Some magazines even reported he was gay and wanted to keep that a secret. But in 2006, Mario denied all the rumors and said the show's contract was the reason for him taking the decision. In his interview with the Palm Beach Post, he said, The public knows about the contract 
contract with the show's 19 entertainment company, that it's hard. The music they do was not up to my alley. They wanted me to do a European type album. That was not Mario. I wanted to do edgier, grittier stuff, much more street, where I came from. Not only this, he also confessed how earlier he just lied about quitting due to personal reasons. Whenever he was asked about his reason to leave the show, he even sometimes had family issues and how he needs some time to handle everything. But when the media asked his family, they were equally clueless about his decision. His mother didn't even know he had left the show until she received a call from some media person. Many people were already suspecting his lies as his family didn't talk about any problem. People were correct that he left the show for a record deal. In 2006, he released his self-titled album. Mario's first single, Gallery, was released in May 2006 and it reached number 35 on the top 100 chart. While the first single did create a certain impact, the album could not do much for his career. To this day, his most popular song is Gallery. 2007 Controversy for a while, it seemed everything about Mario quitting the show was revealed. His story was also believable that many record labels were approaching him and he decided to work with them, which would grant him more creative authority instead of staying in a non-negotiable contract with the show. His exact statement in an interview was, What scared me was that with that contract, everything was hide for us. I would have had no control. Basically, the show is plucking people from around the country who never had an opportunity on such a big level. For myself, I really lucked out. We saw the money, but I couldn't sign it. I'd have been screwed. I started hearing that people were interested in meetings and so forth. You gotta be smart. I couldn't tell anybody, but once I got my lawyer, I was sure something was gonna bite. In 2007, while everyone had forgotten this incident, an employee of Fremantle Media named Magdaleno Olmos alleged that Mario had sexually assaulted him when he was a crew member on American Idol. He even filed a lawsuit against him, Fremantle Media and Fox Channel. According to Olmos, Mario didn't quit. He was asked to leave the show by the producer due to the sexual harassment complaint he filed. His lawyer said that Nigel Lithgow, who is the producer of the show, had told Magdaleno, we know that this happened and we're going to let Mario Vasquez go and you're going to stay. Olmos said he was asked to be quiet if he wanted to keep his job. He obliged with this order until he was terminated only a few months later after reporting this incident, which is why he decided to speak his truth. Mario denied all the claims Olmos made and said he doesn't even remember who he is. Additionally, he also clarified once again that he's not gay and doesn't have anything to do with this man. The lawsuit is currently on hold after Olmos signed an agreement to arbitrate all disputes and not file a lawsuit. Where is Mario now? It took three years, but finally the public knew every possible reason behind Mario's departure from the show. To this day, everyone is divided on both of the reasons. Some believe he wanted to score a huge record deal and thought the limited performances on the show have made him famous and others obviously believe Olmos' claims. The claims haven't proved true yet, so there is no end to that debate but Mario did admit to leaving the show for better opportunities. For his first album, he worked with Clive Davis who had signed all the previous Idol winners. So in a way, he did land the winner's contract. But then, like many just couldn't make it in the music industry. While he got the contract, he lost out on all the exposure and memorable performance he could have given had he not been in a hurry to top the charts. In 2012, Mario signed with 1134 Records and released his second studio album, which again, didn't do anything for his career. He once again said he didn't want to be remembered as a contestant on American Idol. Sadly, even today, he's only famous for missing out on a great opportunity. According to his Instagram, he still makes music. Let's just hope every contestant learns their lesson from this story and doesn't sabotage their own dreams. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to get the notifications. Also, don't forget to watch other videos on this channel that explores more topics like this.